And uh, YouTube, say the YouTube. So we're back on this uh, one of my Smurfs. So let's see what we can do here. So we've got uh, lots of gold we need. <laughs> uh, lots of gold, lots of mana, and we need to kill some more things. So can we get the murder on? Hmm. Taking a peek. Uh, we're coming along on our town hall. Uh, we got two things we can build here. I think we should... If we were going to be good, we would build our gold vaults. But I think I really want to do more damage. <laughs> so, um... Getting the hero base up could be useful. We'll have that one in just a moment, and potentially if we could uh, get this switched over to an arrow tower, <coughs> that would greatly help us. As well, if we could get one of these up, that'd be great, but that's a lot of gold. So, let's see what we can do here. S smidge mana, maybe we can get smidge mana twice. Uh, this person's willing to donate. They don't have a ton to donate, but they're willing to donate. And we should probably put the other hero that we, well, maybe not. Get to get more EXP. Because Shaman, sure, Shaman will help us kill things faster, but he's not really useful. Yeah, so let's we'll leave Shaman out of this for now. Uh, we can get 50% and then back out, I think. Thunder God's coming along. We will have Thunder God up in just a moment. What else are we looking at here? Hmm. Soon. Alanacor is going to be at uh, 80 there soon. 60 soon for uh, Mr. Thunder God. So we got some things about to level up. So if we keep on track, we should be able to become more powerful quickly. So I can definitely see Thunder God as being useful so we can get Thunder God up. That makes sense. What else is going to be really useful? Either getting up our engineer, getting up our druid, or getting up our, uh, yeah, well, got lots of viable choices. Uh, sure. I'll attack this one just because it's fairly easy. Should probably just throw in something over here and attack these two for some additional damage, but for the most part we want to get lots of gold, lots of mana fast, and then get the heck out of there. So hopefully we can get to 50% here somehow. This stuff shouldn't really do too much damage to us. We're going to be okay. Any th other thoughts here? If we can get to 50%, that's pretty much all we care about. There's 50, let's get that last bit of gold and back out. Ah, craziness. <laughs> we got D down. Uh, the trick is to do D more often, quickly. We want to start farming it. The quicker we can farm it, the quicker we can make it to E. The quicker we can make it to E, the quicker we can make it to F, the quicker we can make it to F, the quicker we can make it to G. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, craziness. So, uh, worth attacking, sort of. Okay, so Lanacore in, and then hopefully he doesn't croak. He really needs to bubble, but apparently he doesn't want to. He was at full ability to bubble, but didn't. Eh, well, more EXP for Thunder God. Thunder God's our true hero. That might just die here. Okay, good. He needs a heal. He'll be alright. There you go. <laughs> okay. Now we just get the uh, golden mana, and then we can back out. So, I guess it's fine that we took those hits. We'll be alright. No problem, no problem. We're good, we're good. Get that gold. Interesting. So, it's a good day to get some murder on. 
bit early in the morning, but uh, still good nonetheless. Got what we needed, so we can get out of there. Alright, we got some gems going on here. Okay, this one seems doable. Now, I'm really thinking of D as a uh, very farmable soon, so. And once you start farming D, you level up fairly quickly your heroes, which then can get you to E fairly quickly. But I'm, I'm concerned about that transition to F. Of course, the transition to E is a little difficult too, because of our hero spread, we're not, you know, like, really doing the greatest on AoE. So, we do have some problems that we're going to have to address. But, eh. We'll survive. We'll survive. Long term goals, I think we're. Fairly underway in meeting. Short term though. It's going to be interesting. Progression wise, we're doing okay. But, how to make it go a little faster? Just a little. Come on, people. Where's the good donations? Okay, that's, that's decent. I'm good for this. Now, our biggest concern is that succubus, but let it hop the wall and then come in. Okay. I don't really see other, other concerns here. They can... Thunder God's a bit low, which makes them squishy. Thunder God, don't die here. Turn around. Kill. Yo, look at Thunder God just ignoring Druid and taking the punches. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Finally kill the thing that's about to destroy you. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, come on. Just don't die. Thank God. Because we're really trying to level them. We need them at 60. Alright. We can go for the 100% now. Right, nothing in the corners, nothing hiding. We need the EXP. The EXP is very crucial to our uh, game plan here. Okay, maybe there is something hiding up. There it is. I'm like, where is this thing? Come on, kill it. Let's get the EXP. Okay, so. We're coming along on the gold fairly quickly, faster than I thought we would have, so I'm happy on that. So soon we'll be able to swap this. But although we maybe want to hold off just a, just a smidge, because we still need Thunder God to get up, because that that's still providing a good chunk of AoE for us right now, but it is very weak, so it takes the hits. Thunder God's almost there, so I think that we should probably get it up. But we should also get these up. But nah, we need the arrow tower. Uh, it's a balance. Ooh. Okay. I think if we come in here appropriately, we can get full clear here. And full clear here, it looks like it's going to be nice. I don't see anything hiding. So it's a good, it's a good base. We can uh, attack it and get what we need. Uh, I don't understand the wall placement, but eh, to each their own. It's going to be a good donation for me, so why should I complain? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going to it's going to go good. It's going to go good. No problems here. Soon we'll have enough uh, mana as well to oh, don't die. Uh, we'll have enough mana to make our ne well, they're stunning our heroes here. And poof. Beautiful. Okay, so hmm. 
We're going to have the mana shortly. And once we have that, we can... Witch hero, witch hero. So tempting to get my damage up. But... The responsible thing... Eh, damage up. We need to farm that D. We need to get our heroes up. We got lots of HP, so it's gonna not gonna be as constraining because we have the HP to get two of our heroes on the way to 100. Well, sort of. If we plan it out right, we can get two of them to 100 faster. And that can put us on the road to E quicker. So, yeah. We should go for damage. Because the quicker we can get some XP, the quicker we can uh, start farming higher levels. Higher levels of farming can get us more shards. More shards equals better heroes. So I think that's going to be the path we're going to take. That seems logical. Let's go with logic. It hopefully pans out. So... Craziness shall ensue. Aha, golds. Hmm, potential death, though. But as long as Drew gets some good heals off, we should be okay. The heroes are not that powerful, but they're powerful enough to be of concern. Druid, do a heal, please. I'm gonna have to back out if you don't. Thank you. Now, can we get rid of Executioner? Uh, risking it, risking it. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> really risking it, apparently. <laughs> uh, hopefully, uh, Druid pulls some aggro, because uh, otherwise, uh, oh, we're screwed. <laughs> I might have to back out here. Gotta keep an eye out. This is gonna be close. Okay. Well, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that was closer than I should have allowed. But um, we can possibly get the amount of gold that we need from farming uh, DNC. So still viable to do this. So we're okay. And maybe we got enough EXP to get them up. I, I wasn't paying attention. But if I think we do a C, uh, Thunder God could make uh, 60. That's going to be important for us to get to the D level. So, yeah, and we can change, I believe we can switch the tower over now to an arrow. So I think we're okay. We're going to be okay. on one side and we can farm a C now. Maybe do a D. Should we try a D? Just for that really big boost of EXP we could get. What are our odds? Our 
Dragons are fairly low, but if we can get Atlanta Core up, that'd be awesome. It's 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 doable. It's it's lower on the scale of doable, but it's it's still possible. Sacrifice that. It's it's doable. So let's if we're gonna do that, we have to get uh, some stuff in our towers. So can you look at that? Yeah, I can put it up to two if we do that. But no, 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 no. We got to take one out. We got to take the marksman out because we're gonna need it for the damage. <coughs> Even though marksman isn't the greatest at damage, and we should um, let's do everything we possibly can. We need some more decorations out here. There's a new trick I've been doing on some of my other ones, so let's uh, get that trick going. It, and it's been working, so I'm gonna see if we can get it to hold true and makes things zigzag more and makes him less likely to attack the side, so I've seen it work quite a bit on where I thought they should attack, but they never did. So we're gonna go with it and see if this holds true or not. No, I don't want flowers. Oh, well, I want the correct flowers. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Let's uh, get them out of our inner base. Get them to the exterior. Okay. We'll see if it works. We'll judge it live. Let's see if uh, this uh, does anything or if it's just a failure. <laughs> we'll see if it increases any odds on that end. Them attacking or decreases the odds of them attacking. So we'll give it a try. We'll do the uh, full barrier and see if that works any triangle of doom it <laughs> see if that stops uh, anything from attacking the side we'll give her a try it might not do a dang thing but we'll find out or it might be useful we'll see if it increases our chances of survival or if it does absolutely nothing. That is a big pyramid of flowers. The bushes. Okay, one more. It might do nothing, it might do something, we'll see. It might work, it might not. We still got one more flower to play with, apparently. Alright, that could work, hopefully. Or I could do nothing. It might do something, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, back to the game, back to the game. D. Let's do an attempt. Let's uh, get it underway. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a kill, get some good chunk of EXP. We need Thunder God to get up there. But as you can see, Thunder God is moving along. And we need to get that uh, tower up, too. Okay, do we got the DPS to kill some of the stuff before it starts doing a lot of its damage. Okay, okay, the tower's still up. So that's, that's a good thing. That's one of our big problems is losing a tower too early in, of course. They're all revited up, so let's see. And the zigzags helped a little bit. So, they are going all over the place. Those trees should not break through the wall. Um, 
Marksman by itself should get rid of that, but the problem is they're coming on the other side. Thunder God really has got to come out here and do something. There you go. Thunder God uh, cleared that up, and it really segmented their troops, so <coughs> it really sort of stops them all from attacking the same wall, which is useful. So that did help, which is good because we needed it. Uh, and th that's sort of uh, abusing their pathing mechanics. Ooh, this is going to be horrible. They're going to kill Engineer. God dang it. Rawr. We needed Engineer to be alive. still doable without engineer. It's just a lot harder. And that towers, unless Thunder God takes out their uh, griffins, we're going to have a problem. Nope, did not take out that. But at least they're going after the building first. So they're going to have to spawn in the bottom for us to be able to do anything. spawn down here. And they did. So we have a chance, a small one, but a chance nonetheless. We really need Lanacor to pretty much take all the aggro, but uh, he's not going to. Lanacor needs to bubble now. And he did. How long is Lanacor actually going to do anything useful? Not long enough. Well, maybe. Those little guys do only a small amount of damage. But enough to kill our tower. It was really close though. As you can see, it was down to just those little things. If we would have had Engineer, it would have been a guaranteed kill. Engineer is too squishy as the his downside. But... I think we're going to try a new stratagem here, because, you know, I don't care about Druid healing Marksman. If Marksman dies, I don't care. I really want Druid down protecting these two. Atlantic Horse should be able to hold its own. It's a tank. Marksman, I don't care about. So, we're going to rearrange our placement here, and hopefully increase our odds. We're going to give one try in D. It might do something, it might not. We'll see. I think it's going to help. And that's what we need. We need to get that another D kill. We need to start getting in the farming range of D. So let's try again and see if this will increase our odds ever so slightly. We're trying to pull every trick out of the bag here to uh, increase our chances of success. Now let's see if we can uh, pull another rabbit off the hat. <laughs> so don't ask where I hit it. <laughs> Alright, so that, that is sort of annoying that they're attacking that, which is one of our decoy buildings, but they might not destroy it. Hopefully we can kill their heroes so they don't take out our tower. We really need the tower to be alive. Thank you. It's very important. Now we still have a decoy building over here, so we're okay. What else? So... <coughs> this has the potential to draw our heroes out and get aggro on them if Engineer... Engineer sort of needs a zigzag to build. So okay, it's good. So now they just come out to do the damage. They need to kill... Thunder God needs to do something. Thunder God. Okay, yeah, well at least he's revited up for the next round. <coughs> so this is going to be interesting. Because this is the round that we were really hoping for Thunder God to get the Griffins. If Thunder God does the Griffins, we're okay. It's going to be a win then. <coughs> it is nice that Marksman is going after, but look, Thunder God doesn't target the right group. 
That's just Thunder God. Thunder God does that. And this could lead to the death of Marksman, most likely. But we're okay so far. <clears throat> Very close, though. Closer than I'd like. And Marksman is just sitting it butt out there. But. Okay, that that's gonna fall very quickly, but engineer could pop there on griffins. There we go, a good chunk of them are gone. It's definitely was needed. And that's what engineer really does good, is when you can kill off the, uh, the group of griffins. That's what's the biggest thing when you get to this point is you need that group of griffins to die, and that's where the AOE comes in place. That's what engineer can really shine at, and same thing with Thunder God, but it's it's random random. So we have a chance here of winning, a small chance, because that tower can drop if Lanacord gets his butt up in there and takes the damage, but he's not going to. I don't know why he decided not to. Uh, Thunder God? Thank you, Thunder God. It's going to be really close. I think we have it. I think we have it. Closer than I'd like, but we have it. So there's another decal. EXP. Thank God. Okay, so I think that's going to get uh, possibly... Nope. Close. Close. Too close for comfort. Uh, so that'll be up soon. So we did level up a little bit there. So that was useful. I think we should keep continuing at D and just get the XP. We really need the level, so I, I'm, I'm the, we need to get to the point where we're gonna farm D, so let's just keep doing D. The XP boost is uh, fairly large, so let's do it. Also the benefit of uh, the mana and the gold that we can get from it is pretty high too, so let's just stick with it. <coughs> do the hard path. Uh, once Lanacor gets into that next range too, it's gonna live longer. And also we'll get a special ability up soon enough too. Maybe we'll use the shards to boost them up. Everything that we can do to get this going up higher. Are they gonna get rid of that before they destroy the tower? There we go. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Alright, so... Crazy. So, what? We're gonna do it? Maybe? It's close. Need the AoE to go off. <coughs> okay, there you go. Got Thunder God revited up, so that's gonna. That's our heavy hitter right now. Engineers not revited, but the problem is we really need the proc to happen on the Griffins here. The Griffins are going to probably kill Engineer if that falls. So, and of course, Thunder God targets the wrong one, like usual. But, but, we're fine. Okay. So, Druid being moved is, uh, looks like that really helped us, because Druid is keeping Engineer alive. <clears throat> We're not caring about Marksman. Marksman is pretty much on her own. She lives or dies, I don't care. <clears throat> okay, so this one's going to be a little closer than I'd like, but I think we're going to be okay. Okay, so no revites. The revite on the wrong character, of course, because Lanacor doesn't really need to be revited right now because... Hmm, well, maybe it does. Because that tower is going to fall pretty quick. And if Alanacor gets aggro at the mount, see? Well, actually, it did go off appropriately. Sort of. Not really. <laughs> it's close. Not close at all now, but earlier it was close. So, that's, uh, that one's gone. Alright. Yeah. We're getting close to the point where D is starting to become better and 
with each level that we're going to do here. And once we get Lanacorn to the next level range and get that s tower switched over, I think we're going to be okay. So, we're definitely on the right path. Let's do some more Ds. So far, one out of two. One win, two losses today. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Now, we're getting aggro, so that's good. Things are dying fairly quickly. Now, Thunder God needs to go off. Same thing with Engineer. Thank you. Okay, we did good. Alright. Can't wait to get rid of Marksman. Marksman is... Marksman doesn't do the greatest on D. On the lower levels, Marksman can pull its weight, but... Right now, Marksman is not pulling her weight. So... Revited up, so we're doing good. This third wave, hopefully, cross your fingers, the engineer does what it needs to do, and that I think engineer is going to target. No, engineer's not. Stupid thing runs too fast. Your assassin ran too fast, huh? but engineer going to go for the. Uh, nope, engineer's not. Thunder God. All right, engineer, don't die. Don't die, engineer. Don't die. Don't die, engineer. Okay, let's revite it up. We're hoping for Thunder God to get a proc off on the Griffins, and we're hoping for a Engineer to do the same, but Engineer's not. Engineer's gonna proc on the little group of things. Uh, Thunder God has a chance of dying here. Marksman I don't care about. Thunder God, proc on the Griffins. Okay, Alanacor. There you go. Now, Alanacor is not revited up, which is fine, because hopefully we'll get revited up being attacked. Okay, that's an okay spawn point. And Thunder God and Engineer revited it up enough to uh, do some initial damage. Let's see where that Thunder Strike hits. Oh, in the worst spot possible. <sighs> Alanacor isn't up front. Now it went off finally. Engineer is still alive. Gets one pop, but not enough. Ooh. Uh, D is difficult. But we're gonna leave a challenge. So we're not doing enough to justify another attempt at D, I guess. I think we should probably just go for seeing get that guaranteed EXP to push this over. And then next week we'll do some more attempts on D, and I think we'll be uh, in the clear to start farming D, because we need to. So let's uh, get rid of some stuff and just really boost our might. Not our might. Or, well, it's going to boost might, of course, leveling, but it's not our intention. At some point we'll have to level that. Same thing with that. Alright, let's get a few bombs out and then uh, we can do a some C's. And now we're good. And we've uh, done something, but we're going to have to do a building, of course, so I'll have to decide which one. When we get that, hopefully we get a little bit of gold.